Hi everyone, so today we're going to do a Minions X-Ray effect. If you haven't seen my Lilo and Stitch X-Ray and my Spongebob, go check it out now. Those are up. I'll put screenshots here. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Comment, like, and share. I got tons of videos coming. So we're going to do a really simple um, bone structure here on this Minion. Um, I'm, I'm trying to stay with that style. Keep it really nice and simple where... Um, it also flows correctly. It looks good. Um, the requests that I've been getting were for just I want to draw it easy. You know, they have a they have a few um, minions. You know, or any kind of character that that or have the X-ray effect, but the bone structure just looks really like technical. I'm just freestyling here. I'm just doing whatever it looks right. I'm just throwing shapes out. I'm like, oh, this looks like kneecap. This looks like a foot. I don't even know how many feet. I don't even think minions have any toes. I've never seen a minion without his his boots. But <laughs> so I just freestyle it. Same thing with the center. I like it like this, really thick and bold. Um, covers the cavity of the chest. I'm gonna post this in my community section on, on my YouTube channel. So if you want it as a reference and you want to use it, go right ahead. And if you like some of it but you want to change it, then go right ahead as well. That's the reason why I'm making this video. So you can um, learn how to do the Minions X-ray effect, real simplified. I'm coloring in with Posca markers. I was going to continue using the Alpha um, acrylic paint markers, but I already had these on my desk. So I just said, let me just continue. Um, so I'm doing the goggles right now. I'm not going to do the black outline on the goggles. I feel like for some reason, I just like the... Um, the goggles without the eye without the outline the same thing goes with the iris in the eye i just colored it blue when we get to that you'll see so you know i hit it with the yellow but i'm not gonna do a double pass on this one there's some white from the paper showing through like on the goggles and on the yellow but i wasn't i didn't want to continue building layers because i'm running out of the yellow and this blue and i haven't really got my order yet from my black um posca and white markers for some reason amazon they're not delivering prime anymore it says two-day delivery now it's a week so i'm using other blacks to fill in the cavities and do my outlines as you can see here or well, i'm using the blue here for his glove the glove is usually black but since like i said i'm trying to ration these markers right now i i went with a dark blue so i'm using the maltolo black here and this is what i do for like when i want to do fill-ins but the nib is really um tore up I had this marker for a year. I just constantly refill it with the ink. So it's lasts me quite some time. But um, the nib is really fat and it's fuzzy. So it doesn't get clean lines. But I did my best. But as you can see, since the bone structure is really simple, you know, just nice clean lines and curved corners, everything ties together nice and nice. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. And as I said, give it a try. I want to see what you guys are doing if you're requesting you know make a video and tag me you can at me on youtube or if you don't have a youtube account and you don't want to upload a video but you're just drawing a sketch then um tag me on instagram or send me a dm so right now i'm just coloring in you know in the skull area and just building the line um like i said it's really simple you know um I, I didn't want to have too much of his body showing, so I had, like, the other side of his arm. Because with the Lilo and Stitch, I had just, like, the head, and the rest was just, like, the x-ray effect. But I wanted to have more body in here so it can look cool. So I'm just doing the outline for the rest of his body. Try and tie it together. Really simple. Now I'm doing the bold lines just to tie it all in. As you can see, it's coming in really nice. I'm really liking this piece. Had a lot of fun doing it as well. Here I'm doing his jumpsuit. And his glove. I was going to do on the skull area, build like a yellow, um, what is it, a yellow outline. But I decided just to do, that's why I left it. As you can see, the outline is not completed. I just left it as is because I ended up just doing outline around the skull. And with the minions, they're really easy to draw. There isn't too much like facial features. It's just a big oval, circles on the eye, and the mouth is real simple to draw as well. Like you can't even really mess up this line. You could really have fun with it. 
this is the image that I saw online, but I wanted to have the mouth be a lot bigger with the tongue sticking out. Um, but I wanted to stay true to the form. If you guys want to see me do styled out fi um, figures, like styled out SpongeBob, a styled out, you know, um, Stitch or the Minions, like they just look completely different in my style. Let me know. I'll make those videos as well. So I'm going to come in here, put some white for the highlight in the eye. I'm going to come in with the eraser and erase all these areas that have like the pencil mark just so it can pop a lot more. And you go looking really clean. And as, as I said, um, try doing these on canvas panel and on, or on a box canvas because then you can frame these around your house. My daughter already has two and I did a short video for my wife. She wanted the aristocrats. Um, Marie so I did that for her and she has that in her office as well so you know you can frame these um I'll put them on canvas you can even sell them if you wanted to but I do these for you know for you guys and also for my short videos and I can't really put these on canvas because I have like I I'm gonna make a video showing everything that I'm working on and I have at least two or three hundred paper sketches of artwork completed artwork like colored in with Posca so I really wouldn't have space for canvases because I already have tons of canvases in my studio and in my office as well so thanks for watching Fast Factory guys I hope you enjoyed the video here I am I'm the artist and here's my studio showing some of my original work check my channel I got tons of my original work tons of you know drawing your favorite character you know stuff that we grew up um, and if there's something on my channel you haven't seen, you want to see it, let me know and I'll be sure to make it.